Well, figure better make a public video for once, better than a video short, because I haven't made a public video in a while. So, um, we've had a lot of things going on. I have a GoPro 11 and a GoPro 10, but it's been a giant pain in my ass. I'm going to have to set up some editing software on the laptop and just break down in the evenings and edit video because the old way that I used to do things, now that I've gotten a new phone, I can't just swap the SD card over to my phone because my new phone doesn't have a card slot, so <sighs> that makes me grumpy. Um... Hams, because it's delicious. It's been one of them days. A little work in the shop. Gonna get cranking on that in the morning. Um, I was just out doing some weed eating, some yard work. Shop is looking kind of mint. Been able to crank a lot more work through here. There's some things in the back corner that we still need to clean up and organize and. I need to haul some things over to the scrap pile. We got a transmission sitting back there that needs a overhaul. Um, a little bit of organizing that could go on right there in the bench, but nothing major. And then a little cleaning on the front counter. These are our parts that are waiting to be installed. Usually that's about a regular average amount of parts inventory that is going on vehicles at any given point. Um, we can talk about that process and how I'm kind of doing things later on. Try to make a few minute video every day for you here if I can. See what happens. I'm just going to do it on my phone from, for the foreseeable future and then figure out what I want to do from there with the GoPros and all that stuff because I do like using the GoPros rather than using my phone. It's easier to set it up. It has a magnetic base or whatever, but for the interim, now this back corner needs to be cleaned. That barrel of waste oil needs to go um and we need to do some reorganizing and throwing some things away over there not a huge deal outside lots of things have gone on transpired I grab my sunglasses and my beer and we'll take a walk we've been busy on uh i don't know when the last time i put a much of a premiere or video out but we've had a lot going on lately so let's take a walk talk about it <sighs> okay 756 engine is tore down we were putting head gasket in it um, I just need to get a chance to throw it back together that is a customer tractor we got uh, Connors M on the hay bind no we're not cutting with a narrow front I don't like cutting with a narrow front. It runs it right into the fucking ground. But brought it up here because we got to put some parts into it. Bearings will be here for it tomorrow. So that's nice. Um, as you can see behind me and all around me, I've got plenty of work. There's no shortage of things to do, and there's plenty coming next week. So uh, we got one open spot, though. It's kind of nice. Not really, it's one parked in front of the pole barn, another one parked over there. <sighs> Economies tucked in over there. Counters TADs in the pole barn, the combines in the pole barn, the Argos in the pole barn, the airboats in the pole barn, but we still need to get the pole barn cleaned out ASAP. I got more stuff to put in there. Kilboda. We got the shit spreader on it. We were doing some uh, spreading some dirt and stuff for a landowner that I run hay ground on. That'll probably be where fall plow day is. Skitter's there. Fucking sexy as always. However, we got some... Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of iron piling up around here. Everything over there is essentially new, except for the old grader. All that. I've had that brilliant, but... We reworked that, put a hitch on it, so she's minty. We don't run the seed boxes anymore anyway, but we use it for a land roller. So you can see the field in the background, and it did a beautiful job. Um, recent acquisition of some 
some iron has happened maybe some videos to do walk arounds on and whatnot on a multitude of levels here between ones that I've acquired and the ones that Connor's acquired and there's a lot more yet to go so um bonfire for work fest right there fucking let her grip I think that's big enough we're gonna move some stuff around and I'm probably gonna push the yard back that direction a ways I'm thinking we're not running as many cattle anymore and I don't plan on getting back to running that many cattle anymore a couple dozen at the most you know with uh, a couple dozen cows a bull or two and then their calves so we might be in that 30 40 range at some point as I build back up and get things going just way comfortable I'd rather have hay to sell than be strapping and trying to pray for pasture and running too many cattle and just making it way too stressful for myself so um and we could use the parking for machinery and equipment and all that so just kind of scaling back a little bit so yeah that's kind of the, the deal if you guys are making it to bark fast remember my wife won't be cooking every meal this year we're gonna try to pitch in and get everybody to help her out so she can come out and have a good time too otherwise it's just too much work for her um so if you're coming you're staying bring some burgers bring some brats whatever just we'll have the grill out and available and we can all get together and cook and bag of chips hot dog buns fuck i don't care what bring stuff and it's byob I'm not buying beer and booze for everybody but so it's byob and me some too we will have band, entertainment, and plenty of things going on. We might do a tractor drive on Friday if we get get a few more of them running and see what happens. So there you go. There's your public video for today. If you're interested in seeing more content, try to jump over and grab a membership. And uh, we'll try to hit it a little bit harder here and get after it. And we try to be more on the member side, but sometimes I take a break because I just got too many things to do in the shop and around the farm so we'll get after it you guys have a good day cheers beers like and subscribe comment and share grab a membership while you're there